Welcome back to another tutorial of PyQ GIS in the GIS Word Academy. In this short video, I'm gonna tell you how to create a layout using PyQ GIS in the plugin development and avoid creating duplicate layouts in the layout manager. If you are excited, let's get started. As you remember, so it was our plugin. So here we we were importing the data and after that here it's about our layout manager so in this from now maybe until maybe three or four videos we will just think about the layout manager how we should handle it and so on just in this tutorial i want to tell you just i will get a name of the layout and then with this button, I want to create a one layout in the layout manager and avoiding avoid having a duplicate one. So what do you want to do exactly? This is with this button. So we should call this layout manager from our project. Then we should have, for example, something like this sample. And after that, also, we should adjust some properties. Maybe one of the most important one is the size of the paper. Maybe we can adjust it to A3 and we want to have it as a landscape. So how we can do that or how we can do it in our plugin and PyQGIS, it is the story of today. Okay. Uh, let's uh, start. Let's see here. We have our sample. So we want to do... The same thing. Uh, before going to the pie charm and clean there, always I'm doing the same thing. So I also I always open here because I wanna also change everything live and avoid doing any mistake. So uh, maybe I can bring it up a little bit. Yes, I think it's now it looks a little bit better. Okay, then we can start if dunder dunder name dunder equal to, I think, so definitely we don't need it, but this is my way. So everything should be started with dunder name. I have already told you in the PyQJS and Python tutorials. Okay, just maybe we can just check everything it working properly what is happening there so we will check maybe what should i print gis world print it yes perfect it's working uh so the first thing that we should do is importing some layers here we don't need to do that but we want to copy this exactly inside the pie charm so so we can do that uh from qgis dot core we need to uh, import so we want to import qgs project great so the first thing we should define our project so this is my project and i should say that qgis qgs project dot instance so we are creating an object or instance of the project and after that we should call the layout manager so we are creating again another object for the layout manager manager is equal to now from our project we are calling the uh, layout Yes. Layout. Why I can not <laughs> type layout? Uh, layout manager. Yeah, finally I did it. Good. So here we have our layout manager. So from the layout manager, I want to call, uh, I want to create a list contains all of the layouts. So maybe I can name it naming. The variables is the most difficult part. Uh, layout, maybe I can name it like this, layout list. And then uh, after that, I should say that layout manager dot 
print. Yes. Eight. Maybe we can uh, make a for loop on it for layout in layout list. Please print layout dot. Good. Maybe we can test it right now. Yes. Uh, da, 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 yes, it is a function. Or oh, it's a, I think it's a property. Yeah. Now we have our sample. So from until this part, it works properly. Here, maybe we can check if this sample exists. So please delete it and don't create one after another. So. In that case, maybe we can have one if function. If again layout dot name. Why we have more than one parentheses? So if our layout dot name is equal to, uh, maybe here we can write sample, but maybe. We can define one variable as a layout name. I will go to the top. We can say that layout name is equal to what is it? sample. Great. So if the layout dot name equal to our default name, so what should we do? We should say that layout manager dot remove remove, uh, remove it was remove layout so which layout this layout okay so till now we are getting all of the list of the layouts and if it was exist here please delete it so we don't want to create a list of duplicate layouts. And after that, maybe we can already check it. So here we shouldn't have any. Yes, you see that here we don't have any sample. Great. Now we should say that please create a layout called sample. Layout equal to we have one variable as layout. So Q, uh, QG. Yes. Uh, QGS print layout. Also, I want to call it Obster in my import function. So, QGIS so create one object as a QGIS print layout in which project? In this one. The project that we have already created. Then, you remember that when you, we open the layout, it has some default values. Initial, initialize default. So it has some default values. So also we want to have all of them. After that, we can edit them. For example, like the name. So layout dot set set name. We will get uh, where is my layout? Layout again, I cannot type name. <laughs> okay. Layout that set name, layout name, and after that, so we have already created the object, edited. Now we should say that add this layout to the layout manager. So layout underline manager at add layout. So uh, which layout we want to add? This one. And after that, when we create our layout, also maybe we can also set, or maybe um, before that, maybe we can also add in the last setting of it, layout, uh, because now we should say that, okay, we want to, from this range of the layout, take the first page and give the 
a tree and the landscape. So we should use page collection. And then from page collection, we should say that which page. So we are using page first page, which is zero. So we have already talked about all these things, why it should be zero always all of the arrays in Python start from the zero and also in the C++. Set page size. And after that, it has some default. We should give some value to that. I need a three. And I should say that I need the landscape. QGIS, QGS, layout. Item layout item page, yes. So we need orientation, and also from the orientation, we need landscape. Great, very good. So, and after that, uh, we, we want to add this layout to the layout manager, and finally, uh, yes. Not, it's it's done I think maybe we can check it right now so we have one sample yes I think it, it is working project layout sample layout perfect yes here is a3 and here is a landscape okay you can also just change it to the portrait it should be portrait you see it's very easy okay I wanna uh, close it but it has not been finished. Now we should convert it to the function. And here I will have one function, maybe as a layout creator, whatever you want to call it. So in our layout creator, we need this one as a variable name, layout name. And after that, we need all of them. I think I did. Yes. Yes, it is a project layout manager. And then here, this is this name. I think it should work. Maybe we can test it. Layout creator. And it should say layout name. Great. Let's see, it should be just one. Yes, perfect. Now it's time to transfer this part of code to uh, PyCharm. So here it was our code. So the only thing that we need, we should switch and uh, we need one Python file as a layout so i have already told you we need a good packaging and so on we will do everything at the end uh, layout yes mm, layout i think yeah i think it's fine uh, layout and then we want to print we want to add all of them yes i think everything looks fine except because we need it also in the top eight and maybe we can add something on the top yes. third, maybe we can have we should say that layout settings yeah great i think it looks good after that, now we should import our layout creator. Where? In our layout generator. Okay. So where we should edit? Maybe here it's a good place. Don't forget our previous mistake of last videos. You should add a dot before this layout. So in that case, QGIS can understand it. Where is this file? Then import layout creator. Okay, we have it now in this.py file. Then we will scroll to init GUI. 
So here I should say that self dot layout generator dot again we should go to our Qt designer. So I want to say that if I'm clicking on this push button or also maybe we can change the why why it is push button. It should be something like print layout something like this. It's better. What is the name of the object? Object is push button layout. Uh, it's it's fine, I think. Okay, we are just, and don't forget to save it and push button layout because we have already changed something there. So we are coming here, just paste it there. Yes, so we are saying that uh, from this object, please call this one. And after that, when we are, when it's clicked, connect to this function which function self dot under what should i name it maybe print print layout i think it's good then we should create one function where is my load data here so here i should say that under def under print layout and then in this case i should say that so uh layout creator but for this one we need layout layout title or we need the layout name so how we can get the layout name so again i will go to here and what was the title of this layout title? So I will back to my pie chart. I don't like Windows, but if you are a GIS developer, and I think all the developers prefer Linux, it's awesome. Okay, but it's not our topic right now. So we should say that layout name is equal to, so self, that now we should say our dialogue layout generator dialogue so layout title line edit i want to take the text of it okay and after that this text will be sample and sample will go to this one and after that we will call this one and then we will create a layout manager and all in all whatever we want maybe we can test it right now if it was successful so we will be near to the end of this video okay this one maybe i can say sample so now we should have two one of them with a small with a small s one of them is a capital s okay we don't have any errors so here layout manager Oh, I have already forgot to reload our plugin. <laughs> okay, that's fine. These are the result of the coding. So always, definitely, we should forget something. So layout title is a sample. Click on this button, no error, layout, perfect. So here you are seeing that it's because it's the case sensitive. Then I will open it. Great. Yes yes also now you can also write a code and then you can also compare it if it is the camel case or so it's a bit with the small s or the capital s you can you can write a code and escape that part okay now in the next videos definitely we will go through all for example adding the map legend uh text whatever you want don't worry about it Again, thanks for your time, and if you have any questions, don't forget to comment in the comment section below. See you all in the next video. Bye!